It's your girl Nari, and you're listening to She Speaks, the podcast, featuring spoken word poetry on a variety of social conversations. Welcome to episode eight, which makes this the two month mark for the She Speaks spoken word podcast. Thanks so much for continuing this journey with me. Today, I have a question for you What's the last thing that made you mad? Did you quickly try to curb that anger? Or perhaps feel ashamed about it? The piece I want to share with you today is about an anger that can be praised rather than condemned. It's called righteous anger. Here it goes. Anger is painted as the enemy, a faux pas, to be measured, curbed, and cured, eradicated. But efforts to shrink unyielding anger will only aggravate, causing a cesspool of ugly mutations that chomp at the bit for hot, sticky vengeance. Instead, treat anger like a two-sided coin. On one side lives envy, bitterness, violence, and hate. But on the split side we find passion, a catalyst for change, and fuel for action. Imagine if we could channel anger for justice, for good. Why is it that society paints the good kid to be agreeable, passive? Revolutionaries did not sit back, laugh, nod, and make nice. No, they got angry. Angry enough to fight for peace, stand up to enemies, and make a change. Let's stop wasting energy putting out passion fires for fear of a loss of control. Instead, Spend that time to nurture and refine the flames to yield something beautiful, powerful. Out of the ashes, let the phoenix rise. But what I surmise is, it's easier to snuff than to patiently simmer. Safer to shun than to shoulder the responsibility to raise up a generation of able voices. Fear is, at once, the cousin and mortal enemy of anger. Fear is what brews sinful anger. But fear trembles before the anger of the righteous, for such righteous anger can move mountains and deliver from evil sins. It is a motive of the patriarchy to nurture a steady fear, just enough to spark trite and trivial anger, goading us to fight amongst each other, distracting us from what could be in unity. For anger at my brother will keep me from dreaming of better tomorrows. But we know better. Better to get mad than to sit back. Better to get angry than to let injustice prevail. Better to get dirty than to lose our humanity. You see her getting ripped apart. You see him groomed to play pimp. How about that poor child who's being defiled? Will you get angry then? If not then, then when? Don't sit back and accept the seven deadly sins just so you can pretend to be cultured and civilized, unruffled by anger, wary of weary lies, even keeled, cool as a cucumber. You're nothing but a coward, masked as a man, woman, human. Spark the fire within you that makes you a you. To be alive is to be a light. Be a light in this world. Heat is a sign of life, so live. Anger is not a curse. It's a tool. What you make of your anger, how you choose to wield your passion, your fire, makes all the difference and can inspire. Fire brings both Life and death, now it's up to you to choose. That one's called Righteous Anger. I'm all about spreading love, not hate. But I think that still leaves room to get angry, righteous in our anger. How about you? Thanks so much for listening, truly. If you like what you heard, be sure to rate and subscribe on your podcast platform of choice. My name is Nari, and you've been listening to She Speaks. Come on back next week for a brand new piece.